Hi guys, welcome to Brightland Homes. So now we are officially in Brightland Home, formerly known as Gann Homes. This here floor plan is called the Oleander and this has the executive package, which includes 11 foot ceiling, five and a quarter baseboards, and an extra little row at the top of your closet just to give you a little bit more space for all of us that have all that extra stuff that we need, right? So come on, let's go take a look at this beautiful home. Let's tour this bad boy. So this here is gonna be the first secondary bedroom. I love this room. It's quite cozy, as you can see. It has all of the beautiful, bright, airy look to it, especially because of the windows. Um, these windows are double pane windows. And the good thing about these windows, you can actually open them. I don't know if you've ever seen any of my other vlogs, but you can open them, push this, the little buttons on the side in and clean them. Love them, love them. They're really good for energy efficiency. And I mean, overall, they're just really good if you're a neat freak or a clean freak rather, uh, where you can just clean them and get all the dust and debris after rain. So let's go finish looking at this beautiful home. And here, this second door is going to be the guest bathroom. It is a full on suite and it has all kind of amazing updates in this video or in this bathroom. And it's because this particular home is the model. So I'm sure that is an upgrade there. And then also right here is gonna be the coat closet. And if we keep going here, come down this really nice entryway, we're gonna be greeted by this lovely kitchen. I absolutely love this kitchen. It has quartz countertops. It's definitely modern farmhouse, a little bit of rustic. It's just given all the bohemian, it's given all of the things, right? I just absolutely love it. So if you see here, you're gonna have a lot of that natural wood color bouncing off of this beautiful green. It's more of a forest green. Again, it's given very much farmhouse, really pretty. And you'll see later on when we look at the home, that this also matches the bathroom cabinets as well. Over here, I love the deep sink. I love the fact that it's one. Not sure if I would honestly say, in my honest opinion, if it's functional. I have a sink just like this in my home and I think I would prefer the, the separation, but yes, definitely love the fact that it has like all of the good tubs and all that good stuff, all the space in here. So I love that. But before we move too far into the kitchen, I want to show you guys this beautiful pantry. Very spacious and you can walk in it. You have your built-in range and you also, have, well, I'm sorry, your built-in oven and you also have your built-in microwave. And then you have the built-in range over here, stainless steel really nice. The appliances that they are using is Frigidaire, just FYI. A lot of people need to see floor plans like this because this particular floor plan is very open. And because it's very open, a lot of people don't quite understand that, you know, how to basically place their furniture because it's so open. But I love the fact that when you can see a home furnished, you can kind of get a feel of what the home looks like. So this is what a dining room, which will be off of the kitchen, but also that flows directly into the living area. You'll just kind of see how it flows so nicely. And it's really a really nice space, very open. Everyone is 50-50. I have some clients that love it and some clients that actually need to visualize it. And if you look up, which of course you do have some spotlights that really, basically let you know where the dining area starts and the kitchen and the living room area finishes. So it's definitely something that you can see. I hope this kind of shows people that don't really have that vision, kind of give them an idea of what that would look like. 
Before we move too far alone, I do want to step back because this home has a beautiful office right across the kitchen area, which is really nice. Um, and this office definitely has the French doors. Let me show you. Blah, blah, blah. Why not? Just lovely. So if you come inside, you'll see how spacious this office really is. Again, it has the 11 foot ceilings in here. And I love when they stage it. They do such a good job with staging homes. Like I, like, yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> they did a great job. If you continue on this way, right across from the dining area, you will see that they have their built-in bar area here. It is a wet bar. And what makes a dry bar versus a wet bar, obviously, water and a faucet. So this is what makes it an actual wet bar. I love how they have it set up. I love the fact that they actually added a backsplash here. It definitely elevates the space a little bit more. And then all of the cabinet space here. I would have preferred, one thing that I would have preferred would have been a wine cellar of some sort. I would have preferred that or maybe even just like the little fridge, the little mini fridge that you can put here where you can keep your alcohol and your wines that you would like to be chilled in those areas. So that would be my one takeaway. But overall, I really do like the space. I love the fact that this is concept and this is not a custom home. This is a regular builder. So for them to have it like this already, I definitely recommend. So if we continue on, so right before you get to the primary, you're gonna step here on to your left, my right, and you're gonna see the laundry room. Now, one thing I love about this laundry room is that although it doesn't have a lot of cabinet space, it still has some shelving in here for those of us who like to have things a little bit more orderly and organized, as well as some things that definitely we're not gonna be able to reach. So I like that. And then it still has a little bit of hanging space. You have your washer and dryer. It's still a very cozy space, but it's still functional. It's very functional, and I love the fact that they put that in there. I highly recommend that. Also, I didn't mention that the floors are actually real hardwood, which is awesome. It's not the best for people who have pets, especially dogs, big dogs like that, but really good at the same time. So anyway guys, welcome to the primary. I hope you guys are in love with it just as I am. This home has so many nice features. Not only does it have the spotlight, now mind you, this is the model. So the model always, you know, they add a little bit more, a lot more, um, or is it pizzazz? Pizzazz. So yeah, so you have the spotlights or the recessed lighting. They also have the ceiling fan. And as you can also see, it has tons of natural lighting coming in, which is really good for those days where you just want all that bright light to come in. You don't want to turn on your actual lights. So, not so fast. So guys, welcome. <laughs> That's just me being extra, y'all. I'm just extra like that. So, okay guys, so this here has the quartz just like in the kitchen, it has the quartz countertops with the brown vein in it. Again, this is more of a modern, earthy feel, rustic, farmhouse vibe, a little bit of bohemian, if you know, you know. And then, I, like I pointed out in the kitchen, it has the green here, which the island had the green feel to it. So I love how they did that. They bounced that off really nicely. And this mirror is massive. Now, a lot of builders, nine times, 90 percent of builders, especially those that are not custom builders, they do not board the mirrors in the bathroom. My house doesn't have a mirror. It's not boarded. It, it has a mirror, but it's not boarded. So that's one thing that you know builders y'all should be doing. I'm just saying, it could look a little bit more fancy, but it's still really nice. Everything about it is still really nice. They also have now this tub is a nice soaking tub. It's very much garden style. And then I love the fact that they use a really big tile with all of the beautiful accents and the color plays off each other very nicely. I really do like this. Me personally, I prefer a freestanding tub, but this is not about me. I'm just showing off what this sort of thing has to offer. But I also wanna let you guys just know a little bit about like, you know, preference and certain things that I would have preferred, you know, 
make it a little bit more personal and so and not so commercial. But this here is going to be your uh, separate stand-up shower. I really like it. Now, one thing that I definitely like a lot about this is that it has a step down, which my husband actually pointed out, which I love, because you never really have to worry about, like if your hair gets caught in the drain and it gets a little bit of water, you don't necessarily have to worry too, too much because it has a really good, basically step down. It's probably about four inches deep, so it's pretty good. But I like the black feel. Again, it's that modern farmhouse look. And then the closet. So again, I mentioned that this was the executive package. And remember I told you about that third row? Ta-da! So there's the third row, guys. It's a lot. <laughs> You're definitely gonna need a ladder and one of those things that you get at the store where they have like the little pull down. I mean, you know, you get it when you have your custom closets where you can just kind of pull it down because you're not going to be able to reach this. The average person will not be able to reach the third level. But in the event that you're not an average person, this is definitely the home for you. I'm just saying. But yes, I love that. Love, love, love. Definitely adds more dimension. It really lets you know how big that 11 foot ceiling is. And it has a little bit of a space for you to kind of just do what you like. If you would like to add like maybe a dresser or a chest or something like that, it gives you that availability right here. And it also provides a linen closet. Clearly they use the linen space for yes, some linen, but also for decor. Of course you can do as you please but this is where the linen closet is in this particular floor plan. So let's go check out the other features in the home. Two more bedrooms. So this is the second bedroom, which is technically the primary, right? But this is the second one that we've seen. We're gonna go check out the other two, which are going to be two more guests, and then we'll be outside. So we're gonna go this way, which is the left, always 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 love what the models do to the bedrooms again this is a model yes if you bought this home your ceiling would actually keep this wallpaper if you bought the this model but again if you are getting just the regular floor plan like this it's not gonna have that just fyi <laughs> this is just the model but i love how they did everything again these rooms are very cozy this may be a full size this is a full size. Yeah, I would say it's full size. It has a, it has one nice stand. Let me see what's over here. A lamp, a dresser, just to kind of give you an idea of like the real feel of the room. It's decent, okay? It's not the biggest, but it's decent. A lot of new construction homes, they kind of make the floor plans where the guest bedrooms aren't just the biggest. So, especially new construction in general, so a good space come on this way now look at this guest bathroom isn't that just so cute like I really like this guest bathroom a lot I love the ceilings I just love everything about it it, it definitely gives dimension and because the ceilings are super high and then a little bit vaulted by the shower it's like really giving like cabin in the shower so I really like that a lot and then if you carry on, my favorite room in the house. Look at this. This is too stinking cute. I'm just saying. Like what? I absolutely love. First off, the room is very, very, very spacious, number one. This is the biggest guest bedroom that we've seen. And of course, it's a little girl's room. Super cute, love the hearts. And honestly, I, I love pink for my daughter. But I'm more of a, I don't know what's the quite, I don't know if it's, it's not mauve, but I'm definitely a soft pink. Like a lot of these tones, like this would be more of my preference. And then I know you guys haven't seen my nursery yet, but that's coming soon, my nursery reveal. But I definitely love like the gold with the light and soft pink. Definitely more bohemian, as you can see, like the pillows and stuff, it's definitely a bohemian style. The rug, my daughter is definitely gonna have this in her house, in her room, once she gets older. 
it's not staying, but that's supposed to be like that. Yeah. But yeah, so I love the bohemian look. Love this so much. It's so stinking cute. And once you see my nursery, it all makes sense. But anyway, let's go. So guys, that is the inside of the home. But we have more. So if we step here to the backyard, you will see this nicely covered patio. It's also extended. So if you got this floor plan, this particular one has the extended patio. I'm not 100% certain where the actual patio would end, but I do know for this particular floor plan, it has been extended for the model. And of course, that's something very negotiable. And um, sometimes we can negotiate it, sometimes we can't. So it just depends. I do know for most extended patios, if you can't negotiate it, it's gonna be it's gonna be anywhere from two thousand to about seven thousand dollars. And again, I don't know if I told you guys about the incentives for this particular floor plan or this particular builder right now in Balmoral. They are offering on build outs, which means from dirt. If you wanted to build this floor plan from the ground up. They are offering $30,000 for you to go over to the design center and pick out all the things you would like. And if one of those things would be an extended patio, guess what? You'll take whatever that amount is, subtract it from the 30,000 and here you are. In addition, what they're doing is giving $10,000 to go towards your closing costs. Now, if you wanted an inventory home, which means a home that's already done being built, still brand new, but it's something that they've already picked out all the finishes for. They're not offering, of course, 30,000 for the design center because all of the things have already been chosen and selected by the builder's design center themselves. But what you will get is 5% of the cost of the home will be paid towards buying down your interest rates. So I know everybody's been talking about how super expensive interest rates are right now, but think about it. If 5% of the home whatever that amount is and i can't tell you right now how much this one is because it's the model and it's not priced out yet but if you wanted to build this plan it's four hundred and five thousand dollars so yeah that's how much it is if you wanted to build it right and if the model is always more expensive because they put all the updates in there right so this one may be and i am literally just blowing smoke because i have no idea how much they're going to price this at but it may be around like 430 450 somewhere in that price point but anyways i say that to say you'll get five percent of that whatever that amount is to buy down on your interest rate so if the going rate is eight percent or seven percent or six percent you're probably looking at about a four or a three so that's really good because a lot of builders are not doing that so let's go ahead on head back in i believe you guys already seen the front of the home so come on in well guys, that is the end of this tour. I hope you guys liked it. Please comment down below. Let me know your feedback. Let me know if you like videos more like this, like welcome to my crib style, or if you guys just prefer more of the B-roll and then all the information being in the description box. I'll still link the information in the description box. And if you guys are interested in moving to the north side of Houston, Balmoral is located in Humble, Texas, Humble, Tascacita, Texas. And if you guys are interested, I would love to assist you. I will also have my link for you to do your buyer's consultation in my description box. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.